Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is the second video on my channel and the first video isn't really a Python tutorial, it's more like an introduction to my channel. So if you are watching this video, thank you very much. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you like this channel, please subscribe or if you like this video, please smash the like button. If you want to check out my main channel, go to the link below, you would know where to find me. What I really want to do is to educate more people to know Python because I think Python is the next big thing. I personally know some secondary school students are having Python projects that they have to do. So it must mean that Python is getting more and more important in our daily life. To start learning Python, what you need is a very good IDE. So an IDE is where you run your uh, Python code. If you are learning on a web-based tutorial Python thingy, uh, you might not know that, but one day you might need to run a Python code on your desktop yourself. So what you need is, a, is an IDE. Spider is the IDE that I have been personally using. You might know that I work in a financial company in Hong Kong. So my daily task involves Python every single day. Our entire company basically use Spider. This is the Spider website. I mean, it is an open source uh, platform. It, it, it is actually developed in Python itself and then it is for people to code Python in it. It is developed for scientists, engineers and also data analysts. If you want to know why it's called Spider, this is basically uh, why it is called Spider, the scientific Python development environment. I have no idea where the last all came from. I'm guessing it is from the all in, 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 in environment, but I have no idea. It's called Spider and that is it, I don't care. Spider is actually extremely easy to use. I have no trouble switching from MATLAB to Python using Spider. As you might know, MATLAB and Python are kind of the same thing to a certain extent. It's not the same code, it's just it, when you code it, it's pretty similar. So you don't have to learn the entire thing again completely. As you know, I came from a background of aerospace engineering. I have been using MATLAB for four years straight, pretty much non-stop uh, for every single year, every single coursework, every single exam, computer based exam, I mean. So yeah, I uh, have been using MATLAB for a long time. What is good about Spider is that if you are too used to using uh, MATLAB, let's say that you are from an engineering background, you probably know uh, a lot about MATLAB, but not a lot about Python. I don't know why, but you might. Uh, you can literally select view and then scroll down to window layout and select MATLAB layout. So it looks pretty similar to MATLAB, I would say. Uh, yeah, it literally reminds me of the design of the MATLAB software, the IDE of MATLAB. Uh, so how do you download it? You go to the website of Spider, and then you press download. That is not the way that I would teach you, actually. Uh, my entire company, they use Anaconda. So you just type Anaconda onto Google, pretty much I believe the, the, the first results would be uh, the correct anaconda. If you press download, that would be about half a gigabyte of data that you have to download, which I have already downloaded. So if I go into anaconda, which I have already installed, I'm not going to teach you how to install anaconda because if you are watching this video, learning about Python, chances are you aren't stupid. So you will know how to install software. Hopefully. So yeah, after you open Anaconda, you can see there are lots of options inside. There are a few IDEs that I have already installed, let's say PyCharm. I literally started coding in Python with PyCharm. After about a year or two and I joined my current company, the entire company uses Spider, so I switched to Spider. That is how I got started with Spider actually. So as you can see, I've already installed Py uh, Spider. If you haven't installed Spider, it will look something like this. It has a little install button here and you can just press it and then it 
and then it will turn into a launch. Uh, if you launch it, as you can see, this is Spider. Uh, I personally prefer the Spider default layout. Uh, that is what I'm used to. So you can literally start coding here, and it's not difficult. So let's say I want to use a wire loop. Uh, I type while, let's say uh, when it is smaller than 5, it prints, uh, it prints the value of i. It should end at 6. It should. Uh, if I type it like this, i should print 6. Let's see. No, it should print 5 because my print is actually above i plus equals 1. So. The last value should be 5. Very good. But if I place print below, it should print 6. Very good. Okay, so this is literally the Python IDE that I've been using for the past half a year. And by far, it is the best IDE, Python IDE that I have ever used. So if you want to install it, there's a link in the description below. Uh, there's it isn't hard if you know a, just a little bit of Python, even if you only know how to print hello world. Uh, it wouldn't be hard, easy to read, and it's particularly um, clear when you have a very long code such as this one. You can, this is to check whether a year is a leap year, and year 2000 is actually a leap year, so it prints 2000 is a leap year. As you can see, the coloring makes the entire ID, uh, entire code pretty, pretty. Um, what should we, what should we say? Um, clear. If you need to learn Python, I would suggest you to start here. I guess that is the end. Check out my future video to see more tutorial on Spider or in Python codes itself. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, press the like button. If you want to see more of these videos please press the subscribe button. If you want to check out my main channel, you can go to the link below. Thank you very much. I will see you guys next time.